Good morning. It is time for Tina Book Tuesday, episode 52 with author Lisa Prysock. And I'm coming to you from my dining room here in Kentucky. I thought today we'd open a box of books together. So behind me here, I have this box of books that I ordered. Um, I like to order two paperback copies for my own library shelves of each book that I publish. So it's kind of a exciting for me to actually get to hold the some of these books in my hands. And I've been a little behind on ordering these this year. So I'm really excited to share um, this with you. So it's also a release day tomorrow. So I'm gonna open, I'm gonna start opening the box. Um, it's also a release day tomorrow for Bell of the Ball, so I'm excited about that, and um, we've had a lot going on getting ready for Thanksgiving here. We had a, um, re our refrigerator died. It's been dying for a couple years now, so we kind of knew that it was going to, and so my husband has been, went to go pick up a new one, and so that's going to be installed today. So my kitchen's getting torn up for a third time. <laughs> so anyways, oh, this is great, guys. It's always an exciting moment for me to see what's in the box. And um, there were a few that I was behind on ordering, so I'll just share them with you. There's the cover for Lydia's Lot. I love that. The back looks really, really nice. Should I see this way? That was upside down before. It's got two of those. Ah, oh, when we dance. It's beautiful. Really nice. It fits in your hands nice to, for reading. I like the five by eights. A lot of authors do. Do you like the five by eight or the six by nines? Ah, uh, Lost in Wyoming. I love how that turned out. Nice size novellas here. I love the back, how the back looks on some of these. Okay, what I like about it is how she gets the edge of the cover on the back. Let's see what else is here. Uh, a Persevering Heart, isn't that gorgeous? Contemporary Christian Romance from Georgia Peaches with mystery, I love the side of the book is blue. The back is pretty with the bow. Kind of looks like a wedding invitation. I like the pages, the inside graphics of the peaches and the, and all that. And I like the magnifying mystery glass at the beginning of each chapter. I don't know if you can see that. There it is, the little mystery glass. Okay, so two Georgia peaches. Uh, oh, is that ever beautiful? Look at this one, guys. A New Heart Christmas novella. Oh, it turned out so beautiful. It's so nice to hold these in my hands. And, oh, look at this one from Brides of Pelican Rapids. Jenny's Secret Diary. Oh, it's gorgeous. This is so beautiful. I'm so happy with how that turned out. I love the backs of these. They turned out really nice. Oh, that is just breathtaking, that cover. So that's it. I just wanted to share that with you today. Um, I do have chocolate. <laughs> I don't have tea today. Um, so I hope you have tea or something to drink that you enjoy. And I hope you enjoyed sharing this exciting moment with me. I hope you pre-order Bell of the Ball, uh, releasing tomorrow. I checked last night and I was already like, I think we were in the sixties or something for Western short stories and fifties, seventies, something like that, uh, in the top 100 for Christian historical romance. So it's really taking off. I'm excited about tomorrow to see what it does. And uh, just happy to be releasing another fun, exciting story with a great message for all of you. And I hope you really enjoy the book. 
I wanted to make everybody smile and I'm hearing back from the ARC readers that it does that. So, and um, quite a bit of humor in the book. Thank you again for joining me.